uh, I, I will talk about, and we disagree on about some of us that disagree on Obamacare. I, I believe that it's uh, that there, there are uh, it, it is flawed, and all I, I didn't I don't know if I said that the president was against. It. I just said there are 41 of the 82 uh, uh, major parts of this bill that have been either pushed aside or repealed. So this is not the health care bill that passed, and anybody that believes that is wrong because, and it's not covering everybody, and it's now on the honor system instead of of, of you. Uh, having to prove certain things, it's all pushed aside. But the, but the worst one is this, and I'm trying to explain this, and maybe I'm not explaining it well. The reason that people are going to think they're covered and they're not covered, and why it's and, and why it's going to hurt the healthcare system. I'm just going to do this one issue, and that is one of those 41 was the the cap on out-of-pocket expenses, which is something I believe is a good thing. That has been pushed aside. What that does is it does allow there to be cheaper policies. The problem is they don't cover anything. So if you don't have that cap there, now out-of-pocket expenses, an insurance company could offer $10,000 out-of-pocket, $15,000 out-of-pocket. So you buy, especially the people who have never bought insurance before, they're not going to be as knowledgeable as, as some business who re-ups theirs every year for the last 25 years. That's the, they, they know the drill, but, but others don't. And so when they buy a policy, they're thinking, I'm covered. They don't tell them, but well, they'll tell them, but they may not understand that it could be it could be five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars in out-of-pocket expenses. And what kind of, for most people, <clears throat> what kind of coverage is that? Especially the, the market that they're trying to reach. So I, I, I believe there, there's a better way to do it. I think that, that even the administration has agreed that, that at least for now, the corporate um, mandate is, is, is wrong uh, in that it's, it, uh, it puts a, a, a huge burden on corporations and, and so they push that aside. The other is you have uh, a lot of the labor unions who are saying, uh, and I do agree with them, I sometimes don't agree with them, but I do agree with them on this one, that, that it does hurt the middle class because it's destroying the 40-hour work week, which is the bread and butter for our, for our country. People work 40 hours. I mean, that's just the way it is. But because the, uh, the health care law changed the uh, work week to 30 hours, now you have employers, and, and, and I, um, I'm not going to either blame them or fault them. It's just that's what they're doing. And they do it out of a need or whatever. I don't know, but they're, they're reducing hours to 29 or 28 hours so that they they, they skip that, it's not a full-time worker. And that's a, that's a rough thing, and I mean, I see it uh, all, all over, and there are lots who are just dropping their coverage. I mean, major businesses. You read about them, uh, you know, about one a day, or one every other day, or they're just dropping it. So there's gotta be a better way to do it. I have, I have signed on and proposed a, 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 a plan, uh, and I've also offered up other ideas. To me, if we just would delay the individual mandate for a year and decide we're going to work it out and get together and work it out, that would be awesome. It would. As far as working together, and as somebody said, can we work together? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we can or not. I will say this, that when I was first elected, which was in 2010, and I started serving in 2011, so in 2011, at the State of the Union, I called three Democrats. I'm a Republican. I called three Democrats and waited for the first one to call me back. The first one to call me back, I didn't get to choose. Okay, I just waited. I said, well, the first one calls me back, I'm going to ask them to sit with me during the State of the Union address. It was Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Okay, so <laughs> she agreed. And so she sat with me during, uh, and we probably sort of moderated each other, I'm not sure, but anyway, she probably didn't stand up and applaud as much, and I probably didn't boo as much, I don't know. <laughs> but, but anyway, um, it, it worked out really good. After that, we said maybe we could get together with something, and I can tell you a whole issue of one thing we got together and kind of helped me see things in a little better way. But, but in the end, we decided to start um, dinners, a dinner. We were going to try one and see how it worked. I, bought, I invited four Republicans. 